Hello students, this is Mr. Guy. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use Google's drawing feature and how to collaborate with another student on the same document. Now the first thing I want to say about the Google drawing feature is that it's a powerful way. It's a very powerful way for teachers to make their own materials to meet the needs of their students in their classroom. And most of all, I want to say that it's pretty friendly to use. It's user-friendly. It's not that complicated. So let's get started. First, you have to be inside your Google Drive. Once you're in your Google Drive, go to New. Go down to More. And then to Google Drawings. Now what Google Drawings does is it creates a blank sheet for you to draw on. Let's give it a name. First, we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this, we're going to do something on tigers today. So there you go. You've got a name. Now what you should do right now is you should recall your knowledge about Microsoft Word, about PowerPoint, because basically what we're dealing with is a menu-driven, insert item kind of document, which makes life very easy. And there are many many areas here, but what we're going to focus on in this video is the creation of something. So we're going to need to go to insert because we need to insert certain items in order to have a drawing. So let's take a look at this pull down menu. We've got, we can insert text box, image, word art, various lines, shapes, tables, and comments for collaboration and sharing, which we'll talk about later. So for now, we need to put in an image. We're creating something for students about tigers, and we need to give them a picture. Okay, so this picture, which is from the public domain clip art, so it's copyright friendly and okay for us to use. And all I have to do is drag it in, which is a very nice feature. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so here we are. We have a picture of a tiger. Now, of course, we need a title. And I like word art for that. So we insert word art, and let's say it's Save Me. Nice big title. And of course, we can control the size of things. All we have to do is move things around, okay? And again, I know that you know this. This is uh, background knowledge that you have. So we've got Save Me, we've got a picture of a tiger. Okay, so one of the strong features that I like is, of this uh, drawing is that we tailor the materials to the needs of our students. So let's say that we're dealing with uh, second grade English as a second language learner, and they have very low reading skills. So I'm going to create text that represents that. So it gives us something that they can deal with. So one of the first things we need to do is make the font nice and big. Okay, this tiger is having trouble in his life. Okay, maybe that's good for your students. That's uh, up to you to decide. You know their level, so you'll know what sentences are good for them. And what you can do with this is you can mark it. You can go up here to the align button and you can pull down, you know, center and you can pull down the other center, which means it's it's centered going this way and centered going up and down. So it's left to right and up and down. Now, how does that look? It looks okay, but we can do better. We can use the fill color feature just like on Microsoft Word fill color and let's say we want to make it yellow mm, see now that looks pretty good so we've got a picture of a tiger maybe I'm gonna make both of these a little smaller so we have room for other things okay so now let's say we want to insert some information maybe we can insert a table.
And again, we have flexibility. We can drag things around. And let's say we want, for example, you know, what he eats. And where he lives. And maybe we can put, you know, why people kill him. He needs to be saved. So we can put the information in. But first, you know, I like to make things look really nice. I can go back to the color feature here and I can put in different colors. I can make them all the same or I can try to draw attention to each one by having a slightly different color. Okay, that's up to you. You know, you're the creative one, so I'll let you be creative. So here you can put your information, what he eats. He eats meat, where he lives. Well, he lives in Thailand. I know they have tigers in Thailand. And why people kill them. They like their claws and teeth. Okay? So if you look here, we have something that's easily made visual overall and easily shareable but to tell you the truth I'm still not happy I'm gonna use an arrow I like arrows and so I'm gonna draw attention here let's say I want the students to follow the process you know first they look at the tiger then they read it and then they look at some facts. So there you go. And if I want, I can of course change the color of the arrow. I can insert another arrow going this way. And I can change the colors, as you know, very easily. Maybe, though, I want to have a little more fun, or I want to make this tiger come to life a little bit. Maybe I can insert what's called a call-out, which means like he's talking or something, or he's saying something. Or I can put a thought bubble. Let's say there you go. I'm going to move this up so I can make room. See, you can see that we have total flexibility here. So let's say I want him to say something. Help. So what you've got here is you've got a title, you've got a speech bubble, you've got a nice image, you've got some arrows, you've got some information, and what you have is your own material. And remember, you get to choose the level of the language and the amount of information that they want and you can create it to match exactly what you're doing in the curriculum. And that's a powerful thing. Okay, now, the second part of this is how do we collaborate? If there's another student at another school in Corficon and another student in Dibba, you can easily collaborate and share this document. How do you do that? Well, you go to the share feature. It says here it's private, which means you wouldn't be able to share. So you click on that and you get a shareable link. And what you want is you want them to do more than view. You want them to be able to edit. So it says anyone with a link can edit. Click that and you're done. Now share anyone with the link. So the next step is if you want to collaborate you do it right here on the document. So let's say that I'm concerned about this and I want to know if this is correct. So insert, I come down to comment and I can say um, I think this is wrong. Can you help? So whatever message you want to send you can put it there and the next teacher, the next person working on it will be able to say, well, I'm not sure, or yes, that's correct, or yes, that's wrong. And when it's done, you can simply hit resolve, meaning that the problem has been solved. You don't have to worry. 
Now, when you want to share, all you have to do is copy the link, send it by email, send it by Facebook or whatever type of technology you want to use. So that's it. Quick review. Remember, give it a name. And this insert feature is where really most of the work gets done. There's simple menus, just like Microsoft Word, just like PowerPoint. It's the same idea, so you have this background information already. And when you want to share, go here, share, make sure that it's that the person that you're collaborating with can edit. If you want, you can write their email address in here, but I find it simpler just to use the college email or just to use WhatsApp or something because here's the, here's the link. So anyone who has that link can make changes to this document and can leave comments. Okay, that's it. I wish you luck. I wish you a great teaching practice, and I wish you happy drawing.